Hello everyone, uh, thanks for the shout out from the other Bridget's House writers. I am the host of Bridget's House Writing House, the yeah. other, yeah. other writer's house in the neighborhood. And uh, I'm going to share three haiku. One of these was written during the Tom Painting workshop, so I thought good to share that here today. Hunger Moon. Only the wind rocks the porch swing. Hunger Moon. Only the wind rocks the porch swing. Early morning, late June, a shower of bird song. Early morning, late June, a shower of bird song. And I guess uh, in honor of Nick's um, truthful haiku about uh, the more difficult aspects of life, I do have a few Camden haiku. Senru, I guess you'd say, Senru. Uh, and this is one. Bulletproof glass. Something sketchy about that pharmacy. <laughs> Bulletproof glass. Something sketchy about that pharmacy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Henry Brand. Henry VIII. Um, I wouldn't be here reading poetry if it wasn't for Nick one day asking me uh, if I had a car. And I said, yeah. He said, how about giving me a ride? And I said, okay, where do you want to go? He said, uh, Walt Whitman's tomb. <laughs> so we drove over here and walked over to Walt Whitman's tomb and there were a lot of people around. And they were there's these two trees there like this. And you could stand between them, and then people were going up there like a, like a podium and reading their poems. So Nick's there, he looks at me, he goes, you know any poems? And I can only think of one poem that I wrote when I was dreaming in college, and I got up and wrote it down, which I'm not going to read now. But anyway, he told me you should keep writing, so he was an inspiration in so many ways, I decided to take him at his word. Cassie made me a paper crane, and it's very touching. Uh, when I was in Hiroshima a couple of years ago, I read about this little girl, and um, she was a victim of um, the uh, atomic bombing. Paper cranes, a sick girl makes a thousand hoping to Let graduate. Me make a paper crane for you. Paper crane. A sick girl makes a thousand hoping Let to graduate. To make your dreams Her name was Sadako. Here's an homage to Nick. Daffodil, out of the leaf mulch, out of itself. <laughs> Daffodil, out of the leaf mulch, out of itself. A small flower with seven petals just there. A small flower with seven petals just there. Her tender curves under flowing silk spring zupper. Her tender curves fleeting under flowing silk spring zephyr. This is my second time here, and I came across Nick's writing, and I was just, it spoke to my heart. I thought it was beautiful and elegant and sad and amazing in so many ways that it inspired me to write haiku. And I've been studying and writing and reading every day, and I love it. So I'd like to share a few of my pieces with you. So, the first one. One soft feather found in the gutter of my favorite alley. One soft feather found in the gutter 
of my favorite alley. Kindness, a light too faint to be spilled. Kindness, a light too faint to be spilled. And I have one more. Gathered petals clump beside cold stone, engraved goodbyes. Gathered petals clump beside cold stone, engraved goodbyes. Thank you. Who's next to be able to come up? I'm Gail, and um, I'm also participating in Cassie's um, Bridget's house. Though I had a stroke a year and a half ago, and didn't get back to it till about a month and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> so um, normally I don't write haiku except to get me to kind of extract the essence of what I want to expand on in a larger poem. Um, so even though Ben pointed out that a lot of haiku people, haiku writers, serious haiku writers, might spend a year or more writing one line. I put out three today, and bear with me because my reading ability was what went on, one of the things that went on me with the stroke. So I <laughs> don't know how this is going to go. Uh, three line poems flood Harley Cemetery at Pond's Edge. Three line poems flood Harley Cemetery at Pond's Edge. Um, my father passed on a year ago tomorrow, so that inspired this. Miss you, Daddy. Every day was Father's Day, each Children's Day, and each Children's Day. Miss you, Daddy. Every day was Father's Day and each Children's Day. Um, I think that'll be enough for me today. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's all raise our, our voices and give Nick a, a happy birthday. All right, ready? Happy birthday, Nick. All righty. Okay, anybody? Has anything to say while we're cutting the cake? Come on up. The spotted hawk swoops by. There you go. He complains of my yes. gab and yes. my loitering. Yes. I too am not a bit I too am untranslatable. I say I'm my barbaric. No! Over the rooftops of the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always nice to see you. I swear. My man.